Good morning, everyone. How are you? And welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. You know, I'm I'm early today. I am going to be making my um, my chicken soup, um, caldo de pollo con arroz. And I'm going to put some rice in it. So we're going to I'm going to use chicken wings. I'm going to you know cut them up and whatnot. I'm going to use the chicken wings. I'm going to use the you know, I love to use the caldo de sabor de pollo. I like to use some of this from Norm. And then, of course, I like to, you know, I'm going to use my rice. And this is just a little over a cup of rice that I'm going to be using. And then, of course, I'm going to use my vegetables, a little bit of calabacita, a little bit of fresh uh, carrots from the garden. Check out the fresh carrots from the garden. And then I'm going to use green onions and celery. And then, of course, more uh, green onions from the garden. And then I'm going to use a bell pepper and stuff. And so, anyways, again, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. I hope everybody enjoyed yesterday my red chili spaghetti uh, with sausage. Oh, my God. It came out so amazing. You know, and I was watching my video because some people said, we can't really see what you're doing. But, you know, you could see part of my bowl of, as I was mixing and stuff. But it was a it was an off day for me yesterday, so please forgive me. But anyways, um, it turned out divine. I mean, it was just amazing. Um, today I'm feeling a little bit better. I, was, I had an emotional day yesterday. And I don't know, you know, just life, you know, just life in general and stuff. You know, I have always been a person that... Just be nice to everybody. Just be nice. My husband and I have always, you know what, we've always just treated people with, with respect. You know, the one thing about my husband, and I just love him so much, is that we're not perfect. I've been married to him since I was 16. He was 18. He was in the Navy. He was a sailor. And um, <clears throat> this year we'll be married 43 years. And I'm just so grateful for him because no matter what goes on, whether in my family, with, you know, I'll say my family, my brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, it just never has mattered. He never talks bad about anybody. Whatever him and I discuss, it's between him and I. But you know what? He will never show anybody that he's upset with you or nothing like that. He treats my brothers and sisters and my nieces and nephews, oh my God, the way he treats his own children, his own grandchildren. You know, kind loving person he's terminally ill he's a wounded veteran that's terminally ill he suffers from toxic and chemical exposure from serving two tours of duty in Balad, iraq people see his tum tum and they'll say oh you eat good it's not that that's from the toxic and chemical exposure um that he suffered from his two tours of duty in iraq he's red not because he's out in the sun it's because that's what that's what the burn pits in iraq did to him so he, you know, as self-conscious as he gets, but he still won't tell anybody anything. And so my husband is just the most kind, loving person that there is. And we've tried to always instill that in our own children and grandchildren. And sometimes, like I said, others try to break that spirit from us. And I just, um, him and I just live our life of just trying to be happy. And we help everybody. We try to help others and just always try to be there for others and no matter what obstacles we've gone through in our life, you know, and, um, you know, the last few days, and I have to explain this a little bit before anything, the last few days, you know, I really felt like I was in a funk, you know, just, a, just, uh, you know, just not here, and so anyways, you know, there just comes that time where, you know, it's like, Lord, just let me sleep, don't let, don't wait, ever wake me up, and when I do wake up, let me wake up in the kingdom of heaven, that's how I have felt. But you know what? No, I have a good life, you know, despite whatever obstacles there is with any, with, you know, others or outside my little tiny immediate family. It doesn't matter. Your extended family is your extended family. There's nothing you can do about it. Tu sangre es tu sangre. Just love one another, you know, just love one another. And like I said yesterday, that's what I loved so much about my dad. If he felt something was wrong with his children... I don't care if he was feeling that. He'd drive up to your house and he, he'd come. And if he had to give you a piece of his mind or you had to talk to him about what was going on, he settled it. He took care of it. That's what I miss about my dad. And that's what I try to do 
always, you know, always, and um, and stuff. And that's what I've always tried to instill in my children and my grandchildren. And um, I just love my babies. But anyway, so now we're going to get started. Please keep my babies in prayer. Ireland's getting ready to go back um, to her duty station, her new duty station. Please keep her in prayer, please. And uh, Rachel and Victoria, you know, they just haven't been feeling themselves. Victoria had a little procedure. And so today she's feeling a little bit better. I haven't spoken to Miss this morning, to Rachel this morning, but I'm sure she's feeling a little bit better. I saw a, little, I saw a piece of her on... Um, on Facebook. So anyways, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre es Tu Sangre. You know what? Get out there. Make it a great day. And you know what? Tell that person you love them. Make that phone call. You know, just tell that person you love them. Don't forget, because tomorrow is never promised. It is never promised. We'll talk, well, we're going to talk about that another time. Let's get started. I'm going to wash my hands, and I am going to get started on my on my arroz and my pollo and everything else and I have a half a pan of my water I already have it boiling so that way um, it already started boiling so what I'm gonna do hello I am gonna add a tablespoon of my nor no I'm not uh, promoting but I, I'd be happy to but I'm adding a tablespoon of my nor to a gallon one gallon of water okay so i'm adding that and um so i'm going to do that i'm going to put this aside because we don't need this anymore and that's just for a little bit of that flavor i love i love norm but anyway so that's what we're doing there and let it come to a boil again and then by then we will have the chicken ready and stuff and so anyways um i'm like excited I love cooking. I, you know, I love cooking, but like I told you guys yesterday, you know what? If I have to go out to eat, I will, you know, and I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I love it and, um, and stuff. And so, but anyways, that's, I got the chicken out late last night. So some of it may still be a little frozen, but it's all good. So I'm going to take the little, the little, uh, wing, the little tail off. I call it the tail, but anyways, and I'm going to break these in half. So here we have this part, and we have the like the leg, and like the drumette is what some some call it, the drumette, and um, and stuff. And so, anyways, wanted just to get through this and show you guys everything that I'm doing, and so I got two packs up. The one I had, oh we used to love to go visit him because he always had them, you know, on the table, and because um, he made them every day, he loved them, and so anyways, but. Um, so that's, so I always have chicken wings in the, in the freezer and stuff, always. And so, you know, you have company over, whatever, you can, you know, make some quick chicken wings either in the oven or in your, in, you know, in your outside grill and whatnot. But one day I'll make the chicken wings. I was supposed to do that with one of my friends. I wanted to teach her daughter. Uh, she's a doctor in Oregon because um, they love chicken wings. And I was going to teach her when she was here, but... We just ran out of time. I was going to show her how I make them and a fun way of making them at the same time. And so, but um, we just lost track of time. And so I never got around to doing that. But anyway, so, um, so I'm doing, and it's quick because if you have your water going, it's fun. You know, it's fun. But anyway, so, yeah, so I am. Um, I was I was craving it, and I know I had I had one of uh, one of my other one of my other viewers that asked me uh, to when I was going to make the the chicken, and so and I'm so sorry. Please forgive me that I cannot at this point remember your name. I I am so sorry. I can't remember your name, and so but the vegetables in the hard ones, the ones that take a little bit longer to cook. Um, probably about halfway through, then you can. Oops, then you can put your rice in. And so that's what I what I do. You know, we'll go through it step by step and stuff. And so that's what we'll manage to do and, um, and stuff. And so let's see what else I make, you know, with all this. I don't know. We'll, I'll decide. I was going to make some bread, but I don't know if I'm going to or not. 
And um, I'm, I'm going to try not to be eating so much bread. I love bread. And I'm going to try my best not to be eating so much bread. But I like bread. What can I do, huh? I like bread. And maybe I'll just make some cornbread. <laughs> it's not as bad as white bread, is it? Yeah. So anyways, but... Um, so yesterday, like I said, somebody kept saying, we really can't see what you're doing. Well, it wasn't a full view, I guess. But, you know, I mean, you could see the gist of it and, um, and stuff. So, um, you know, which is fine. But, you know, I tried to really watch today exactly what I was doing. I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to put some water on this board. So that way I can start the vegetables. I'm going to rinse my chicken just a little bit. So look, that's a nice chicken. So I'm going to rinse the chicken. Move my, and just to get it cleaned a little bit. Just rinsing it. Okay, everyone, not sure what happened, but uh, for some reason my video cut out. But anyways, I just rinsed my Welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. I'll combine the video later and stuff. So I've already rinsed all my chicken, so I'm going to put it in my boiling water broth because with my nor, I've already added the nor to this. Okay. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to put this here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add a little bit more water to this so it can start to boil. So you just put it all in here. So I'll add a little bit more water. It's about, oh, about two thirds, just about three quarters of the way full. So I'm going to keep looking at my video. I'm not sure why it was why it cut out a little bit ago, I am so sorry, and stuff. So I told you, I don't know, these things. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot, hot water into my pan just to get it boiling. And I'm using the same pan that I had my chicken in. I'm just putting a little bit more water, just to get it to about three quarters of the way. And now, I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm gonna dry the, take the water, excess water off. Okay, so here we go. So now, what I'm going to do is got my strainer. I'm going to get rid of these uh, little pieces here. Rinse my bowl again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my carrots. Look at how cool. Came from the garden. All fresh carrots from the garden. <laughs> Some of them are really big and some of them aren't. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to cut the, the tail off. That way. How cute, huh? I may or may not use it all. Use them all. Oops, one fell. I have to wash it anyways. Okay. Aren't these cool? I like. You know what? The one thing is I do like carrots. Always have. When my dad would plant a garden and he had carrots or 
radishes in the garden. Oh, he's, he thought it was the coolest thing to think they grew like this, you know. Um, when we were growing up, he tried to plant everything. I'm not sure. I really never have cooked with the greens or the carrots. I mean, I'm sure we can use them like for in a um, in your smoothies and stuff. I never have. Huh, a lot of people do though. I'm sure. I'm going to clean that counter real quick. My, um, my good friend Martha made me all, you know, crocheted all these dish racks for me. And oh my God, I love them. If you guys have never had crocheted dish racks, you have to get them. You'll never go back to using anything else. I love them and stuff. I love them. I have several. I mean, several. She made me a few. And um, and I just love them. Best thing that I ever used. There. Just wanted to clean my mess a little bit. Yeah, she made them for me. We were just sitting there one day talking. And while we were sitting there chit-chatting, she crocheted, I think, six of them for me. And stuff. And so I love them. Love, love, love them. So I'm going to take off all these other little, little tails. I'll put these in here. So I can wash everything. You know, I record by myself. Once in a while, I have my son-in-law here. And he'll record, you know, he'll help me record, and I love it when he's here. So I can't wait till he retires so he can, he can help me, you know, because he's pretty creative, my son-in-law, David. You know, he'll stand here, he, he's very patient with me. Well, both my son-in-laws are. I, I was blessed with very good son-in-laws, and they're just patient with me. But at the same time, I don't always, you know, I don't always uh, call them, and they'll tell me, you should have told me, I would have done it. No, no, no. They have their families and, and stuff. And so, well, uh, we always say, well, we can do it. We're going to do it. Don't worry about it, you know, and um, and stuff. So it's it's nice there. Just want to take all that off. So now I'm going to cut my carrots. And I, lo I love to cut them a little diagonally, thick and diagonally like this. You know, that's just, I love to cut it like this. It just gives it a little bit of character, I guess. And then I'll wash them. And these, well, these look good. These are, this is a little too big, so I'm going to just cut it in half a little bit in this one. Because that was a big carrot. Yes, yeah, so anyway, so our granddaughter, she got her her orders, so she's, you know, so she's going to a new duty station, so we're so excited for her, you know, we just, we're so excited for her career, I mean, just all the way around, and the boys, oh my God, those boys just miss their, their Ireland, you know, their cousin so much, and their sister, and stuff, but like we tell Ireland, you know, it's okay, love. You don't have to come over. You don't have to be here. I mean, Papa and I are good to go over there. I mean, you know, what's important is your mama. Your mama and your brother and stuff. So I hope that she's able to have that time to go. But oh my God, my poor baby. She's, there's so much that she's had to do while she was here. And this was her, this was her first time home in seven months. So i check my camera again. Since I'm the only one working on it. Nobody's here to tell me different. <laughs> and I didn't peel the carrots. I just don't. I don't like carrots. I just might as well get it all, right?
And these these carrots were just too little to peel anyways. Then I'll wash all the vegetables together. So I'm gonna put a bell pepper in there. Everything's from the garden. So that's why I said I'm gonna just use everything from the garden to make my my caldo. You know the one thing about carrots when you grow them at home, they seem to they grow different. I don't know. We can't get them to grow like the ones in the store. <laughs> These I'm gonna rinse real quick, and I'll rewash them. I just wanted to rinse them a little bit since I cut the root off, and then I'll wash them with my. And I'll do the same thing with my with my celery. And I like to do the celery thick because, you know, celery does, it'll fall apart if it's too long, you know. But I like to be able to see my vegetables. And I'm going to use the green. I love to use the celery leaves. And one day, I guess you'll see a fully edited video <laughs> but not now. One day I'll learn all that. But this is Market's Kitchen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Comidas en mi familia is my authentic New Mexico cookbook. And, um, you know, welcome to Market's Kitchen. You know, thank you for joining me and wanting to share in my, in my family meals, you know, and what I grew up with. Uh, some of the recipes I've created myself, like my red chili, Spaghetti, I created that recipe myself. I, I just loved it. I love the way, you know, and, and the thing is we have an upper hand is that we have fresh, you know, grown red chili that I had blended and stuff from my father-in-law. Um, he grows the chili, he grows it too hot, and so I, I am the lucky recipient because And it's just the caldo sabor de caldo. Okay, I just put a half a tablespoon more. And that's just too because I added more water to it. Ooh. Nice. I told me eat the Victoria. You gotta come over and try my, my caldo. Just wanted making sure. What's your favorite meals that your parents cooked, your mother cooked, or your grandmothers? You know, you're from New Mexico. Tell me what was yours. You know? So, anyway, so that's how I learned to make that. And then my grandma Ann, my dad's mom. Oh my God, that lady, she could make some mean fried chicken. Her pork chops were out of this world. Um, her her egg pudding, which people call it natillas these days. Oh my God. It was just, she just perfected it, you know? And then also, um, like I said, her, her, oh, her meat, her round steak. She'd do a round steak in the electric skillet. Um, and I did the round steak because it was just amazing, you know, just amazing. So I'm gonna rinse this real quick, wash my carrots. And the reason is, is because the carrot, the carrots are more hardy. So I need to just really put those in. Yeah, this is like the holy grail, let me tell you. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. The Holy Grail. So I'm going to wait just a few more minutes. And then, of course, um, I put these together. 
hubby took um, missed the biggest onions yesterday, the fattest onions from the garden. I don't want this part. I know that was waste. I could have just saved it, but I didn't want you. So anyways, let me check this one more time. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm going to put the carrots in here and the celery. Just making sure. So I'm going to cut up my onion. And you know, sometimes green onion is so much better to use because it's pretty and I don't know. You know what? Before I do that, Finish cutting that up and put some pepper. So I have my pepper. I'm going to put this in my and then I'm going to put some garlic powder. And it's probably about a teaspoon and a half or so. And then I'm going to put some salt. Oh, I'm going to use this salt. I guess I could do the do some exercises while I'm doing this, right? I didn't put no makeup on today. I didn't nothing. I just decided I'm just gonna cook. I, you know, I'm not here for a beauty contest. I'm not here to nothing like that. I just, you know, I'm almost 60 years old, and I like to. Just be me. So I told you guys yesterday, yes, I'm going to school. I'm getting my, I'm, you know, earning my bachelor's. Hopefully, if it doesn't kill me. But anyways, I am. I'm doing that, and I'm really excited. You know, still have a ways to go. I probably won't graduate till 23, 2023. But um, everything goes well. I have my bachelor's in health and human services, and then I'll have a minor in gerontology, the study of aging, and um, and stuff. I thought that was, I think gerontology is so interesting. So if everything goes well, and if not, maybe I'll have a degree in basket weaving, right? <laughs> but anyways, but even basket weavers have to go through English. But anyways, uh, English is going to be my... It's gonna be my killer here. Okay, this is all ready. Put my onions in here. And when you're doing your calabacitas, it, um, you know, those don't take long to cook at all. And I'm just doing one small one, because that's what I had from the garden. Just one small one. Rinses. And there's a difference between zucchini, calabacita, squash, whatever. There's all different colors and, and stuff. And this is a this is a more of a Mexican calabaza. And so it's really good for the caldos and stuff. So this one's all cut in, in chunks.
And what takes a little bit longer is the, is the rice. But it cooks. Before you know it, it's, it's cooking. And, okay, so see the bell pepper? I usually cut around the seed. See? That's what I do. So I don't get no seed in my bell pepper. Now there's one little piece, but that's nothing. here today you know I wish I could play music and stuff but I can't because then what happens is that I will I will get um, I will get penalized and I won't be able to it won't, it won't monitor me so I can't just play music or anything like that and um, I wish I could because I really like to cook when I have music going on and I think that's why sometimes I'll just do TikToks. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened again. But anyways, I'm gonna move the camera here because I want you guys to see um, everything I'm gonna be doing now, even more. That way you're a little bit closer. Oh yeah, and you guys see my dad in the background. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that great? So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my rice. And it's a cup in a, what is it? One and a half cups. So I don't know if I'm gonna use all the half, the half I don't think I am. I'm just using one full cup. Okay. I taste that liquid. I feel like Julia Child sometimes. I want to taste everything. Mmm. to subscribe to my YouTube channel Margaret's Kitchen you know you know subscribe hit that button or hit the button on top hit the button on the bottom give me a thumbs up I would so gratefully appreciate it please invite your family and friends to like my my YouTube channel my Facebook pages you know um, please I'd appreciate it and stuff oh by the way so um, I'm gonna add another link because our grand dog Bizzle, Strawberry is her name. She is a Chihuahua, but she was born with a, um, a hip dysplasia or something to that effect. And she's in a dog pageant. So you guys, I'm gonna post the link. Please vote for our, our grand doggy, Strawberry. And, and stuff, she, you know, she's been, her little mouth shivers now, you know, just shakes from, she has like a Parkinson's and so anyway, she needs a lot of medical help. So will you guys please vote for our doggy and um, and stuff for Bizzle? I would so gratefully appreciate it. Doesn't cost nothing to vote. She only has two days left. She's as a matter of fact in the state. I think she's in third place, second or third place. We want her to win, please. You know, we want to get those twenty, thirty thousand votes out there for her. Please vote for her. And I'm gonna post the link. Mihita Rachel, if you're listening, please um Please add the link, you know, put it in the comments so people can vote for Bizzle, Strawberry. And uh, we would so gratefully appreciate it. Or Victoria or Ireland, one of you, if you guys are watching, please do that. And stuff, we would appreciate it. Ooh, this is looking really good, guys. 
really, really good. Let me move the camera a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like in here. Doesn't it look good? My greens. But anyway, so yeah, I appreciate it, you guys. God, this looks so good. And Jesse, like I said, he loves drumettes. He loves chicken wings. So this, this is just a perfect meal for him and, and stuff. Just a perfect meal for him. And I don't fry my, you know, or brown my chicken first or nothing like that. The chicken's already almost done. That's what I like about, you know, doing the chicken wings. You know, it's, they're not thick, they're not nothing. And once the rice starts to pop a little bit more, it'll be perfect. Perfecto. And again, you guys, remember, you know, don't forget you know, to order my cookbook, you know, if you want to order my cookbook, I'd appreciate it, um, and stuff, you know, it would be great, I'd appreciate it so much, you can tell I use this cookbook all the time, I'm always showing it because it's full of everything, and, um, and stuff, so, <laughs> but anyway, so, um, we, uh, like I said, this is going to be our, our lunch today, we're having this wonderful caldo de pollo con arroz or as everybody calls it chicken and rice but i call it i like to call it this and you know just a little different you know this one has you know a lot of vegetables like this oh my gosh it looks so good you know what i think i am going to go ahead and put the rest of the rice in Like I say, my videos aren't edited and stuff, so, you know, so it makes a little bit of a difference. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Look at this. So I'm going to put the rest of my vegetables in. I want the, the onions to start incorporating. And my calabaza. Look at that. Oh, nothing like a good hearty soup. I don't care what the weather's like. Nothing like a good hearty soup. Isn't that coolness? Let me check the carrot. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, it was a perfect time. The carrots are a little al diente. So this is a perfect. I'm going to cover it just for a minute. And in the meantime, I think I'll make some green chili. Because we'll make green chili while I'm going to stick my hamburger meat in the, in the microwave. This is boiling because I already have all the my chili chopped and ready to go. Things, you know, we always have to have green chili with our with our meal. Some type of chili, red or green. And since we're doing a lot of green today, I'm going to do that. And I have the green chili from yesterday that I had already chopped up, doctored, 
added the garlic and everything to it. Splashed it a little bit though. And you should always keep your workplace neat, you know, just clean, neat and stuff. Very, very important. Keep that workplace clean and neat. I'm going to make me some tea. Like I said, I don't have anybody to, you know, to like really help me with all this. So I just do it and I do the best that I can. Sometimes you can see me and sometimes you can't because I'm getting stuff or whatnot. And so that's what I'm doing. And like now, just going to work on the green chili so I can show you guys um, my green chili. And green chili is always going to have I'm getting ice. always good to have anyways because you can have it with your eggs in the morning oh my god and we got the most beautiful fresh eggs from my dear friend our dear friends Emily and Dale oh my gosh look at this that's what you want look at this look at that you want it to come to this rapid boil Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get the green chili. Wasn't that delicious? I can turn this. And then I got the green chili from that I had already chopped up. So we're doing that. It's gonna be good stuff, Maynard. Oh, look, the rice is starting to pop. Look at that. Everything is just incorporated so beautifully. And I love my wooden spoons. I love them. This is just perfect for that ideal soup or caldos or anything like that, your beans and whatnot. Okay, my meat's almost ready. And you know, we, um, we, butchered, a, we butchered a cow. I have to actually butchered a cow from my cousins. Um, they have a, a working ranch. And so this past winter, we, um, early, or early spring, we uh, ordered a, um, a butcher cow from my cousin in uh, Las Vegas, New Mexico, from, and so my cousin Gilbert. And so, oh, I just love the fresh, the fresh meat and everything. And they just, look at this. They vacuum packed it, vacuum everything. And it's just so nice and lean. And so anyway, so, I, I love it. I get so excited because, you know, there's no preservatives in it, nothing. It's just your own, you know, your own butcher cow and, um, and stuff. Just like yesterday, you know, that was another thing too. Let me get my, I don't want to touch it, so that's good. There it goes. Come on. So anyway, so yeah, I got the got that from my cousin and so excited. So the ground beef is just like what 90% lean, I think. So I'm gonna put my salt. Oh my. So we're gonna make the I told you I was gonna make something else. I just didn't know what I wanted what I wanted to make. Let me show you it's my meat. And this is, you know, this is a no-name masher. I love it. I do have the one from Pampered Chef. It's 
not my favorite. This is my favorite. I love the one from Pampered Chef, but this one, I got it at the commissary uh, many years ago. So I've had this probably for about 15, 20 years maybe, and it's still going. I love it. And they just had it hanging there, you know, and so I bought it, and oh, it's it's been a it's been my blessing. I love it, you know, and stuff. So I'm so excited about that. But anyway, so yeah, so you could see my meat, and you know the thing is, is it'll cook fast. So by the time we're done with this, and this is boiling up a storm. Then we're ready to throw a munch. And I use, when I do my green chili, I always I like to put the beef, either the ground beef, cute beef, whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever you're in the mood for. There. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I gotta bring this closer. Look at this. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at that. And I use the balsam, the balsamic rice, balsamati, balsamati rice. That's the rice I use. Look at how beautiful that is. So when that comes in that gunny sack, that's what I use. Oh my god, look at this. Ugh. And when the and then when the meat's smashed like that, you know, when you pack it like that, it cooks quick. You have to be And I'm not a I'm not a a, a a buffalo wing person that doesn't have the bone. I think that hot wings have to have a bone. I don't like the one without the bone. I mean, it's just white meat. I think, and um, so you have to have a bone when you're having hot wings. My friend Martha and I, we went to one of the you know a very popular place for hot wings all over the country, and her and I went and she had them for the first time there and. Uh, we have I have pictures of that time several years ago, about five years ago, and oh my God, those wings that day! I see that picture and I always think of those wings. They were so delicious, and I like naked wings. You know, when you're gonna have hot wings, I like them naked. You know, you know, fried and naked. Oh, I love them like that. But this is a wonderful way of making your wings as well. So whoever wants to come over, come on over, have some. Look at this. So it's cooking away. And somebody the other day said, oh, that red meat looks so gross. Well, sorry. <laughs> I don't know meat to be any other color and stuff. So, um, but when you have fresh, fresh meat, it's going to look even better, you know. And uh, when, you, when you do your own, your own cows and stuff, you know, butcher your own, your, your meat's going to be amazing. And you won't want to be buying the meat from the grocery store because of the fact is that it has so many preservatives to it. Oh. Look at this. I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm going to put the lid on it for just a few seconds, a little bit. And then I'll put a 
all my cups in here. So let me get some of my water. So that I can pour it into my chili when it's ready. And with my green chili, I do not use uh, flour. My mother never used flour. I don't use flour. My grandmother's never used flour. I don't think anybody that it was related to me used flour in their chili. So let me show you again. So this is my liking. Take this out. two cups of water at a time into my chili. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add my green chili. I'm going to add all of it. And this is like two, two cups. I'm going to use my bowl to rinse. Yep, two cups. That was two cups of the rinse your bowl. And we'll put some more. Just two more cups of water. We'll mix this a little bit. I'm going to add some more water. So that's four cups so far. And on this one, I don't add tomatoes or nothing. Let me show it to you. You look amazing. Okay. I'm going to let that come to a boil. I'm going to add a little bit of turn off my water. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to, oh my gosh. This looks uh, amazing. Okay, look at the steam coming out of that. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I'm gonna get some crackers. And stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Make sure you guys can see it all. 
right there. I'm gonna do some crackers. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hot. I'll probably burn my mouth. <coughs> do the crackers. Let me get my tea. Okay, look at this. Mmm, a little bit of the carrot. There's a little bit of the celery, a little piece of onion. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Love it. Wow. I taste a piece of the chicken. I'm going to get a small piece. So this is Margaret's Kitchen, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Welcome to my house, my kitchen. Get this little piece of... Mmm, look at this. There's that little piece of chicken. This is so delicious. So, so delicious. Look at this. Look at that. Taste a little bit of my... Nothing falls apart. Mmm. Buen provecho. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me this, this morning in Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia. Thank you so much. I love you all. And you know what? Treat people nice. Be nice. It doesn't hurt to be nice. You know, you're the better person for being nice. You're the better person one step closer to Jesus. You know, just remember that. That's what Jesus would do no matter what. Just be nice. I love you all. God bless you. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you to all those that have ordered my authentic New Mexico cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre Es Tu Sangre. I truly appreciate it. You know, thank you. You can order it on my website, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. You can get on my Amazon store, Margaret's Kitchen on Amazon, uh, Margaret's Kitchen NM on Amazon. But you know what? Thank you all very much. God bless you. I love you and talk to you soon. Bye.